and I think it should be recording. There we are. Hi. So hi, everybody. My name is Susan Trevelyan, and I'm the pharmacist leading today's little session about 2022 intern program at Northeast Health Langaratta and Benalla. And we're just going to do a really short video to introduce to you the key people at both Langaratta and Benalla hospitals. And basically those key people are the interns who are here in 2021, and they're the people that you probably want to speak to. Um, but I'll let everybody come in and introduce themselves in a moment. So thanks for joining us. All right, over we go to Courtney. Alrighty, thanks Susan. So as Susan said, I'm Courtney and I'm an intern in Wangaratta in 2021. So I just wanted to chat a little bit about the supportive network that we have here in Wangaratta in the hospital. So in the pharmacy, it's like a niche little family. Um, everyone has everyone's back. It's really supportive. If you have a problem you run into, you can go to literally everyone, whether that be a tech or a pharmacist or David, the director, everyone is always open to help you out. So you never feel like you're on your own. Um, so in terms of work, you, you're never out of your debts. Like you've always got someone to call at any point. But also I just wanted to touch on moving away from home into a place that you don't know anyone as well. It's a supportive environment in terms of they will help you whether you're at work or not. So finding housing, whether you have a problem at home, you're just having a really bad day and you want to chat about it, everyone here will listen to you and help you out. And they're just, I don't know how to put it into words pretty much. I've probably never felt so supported in a workplace. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Shall we hand over to our next right. speaker? I think there's going to be Sunita. Next. Oh, Sunita. Sorry, Sunita. <laughs> <laughs> so Sunita. Hi guys. Welcome. So my name is Sunita. So I'm currently the intern at both Benella Health and Wangaratta Hospital. So I've been just asked to talk about my experience across the two different hospitals. Um, so I work four days a week at Benella and then one day a week at Wang, which I travel to, and it's usually a 30 minute drive. So basically what I enjoy across, well, about working across two different hospitals is having the opportunity to experience two different working environments. So um, Benalla is a very small rural hospital. So basically you'll have the responsibility of looking after the acute ward and maternity ward. So in acute, in acute ward, you'll come across like different types of patients, including like medical, surgical, rehab, and also palliative. So I think what this helped me is to get a, like a greater exposure of different disease states, but also increase my knowledge of different medications um, across the different settings. Um, but again, you're here, you have the autonomy to like carry out activities like, such as like taking medication histories and also being part of the patient's discharge from hospital back into community. So especially at Benalla, because we don't do any dispensing on site, um, it will give you the opportunity to create good relationships with your local community pharmacy and then feel part of the local team as well. Um, again, doctors aren't on site here at Benella, so um, and usually the roundings are done by your local GPs. So um, basically this means, I think for me, it was, it gave me the opportunity to understand the importance of issues that you identified while you take the medication history and also find alternative ways to approach situa like situations so you can better the outcomes for your patients. Um, whereas at Wang, it's a busier hospital. Again, you have the opportunity to increase your clinical knowledge. But for me, it helped me to like, understand the important importance of prior prioritizing tasks, um, but and also improving my time management skills as well, which I feel is very important when you become a pharmacist. Um, and it they're amazing they're always willing to teach and if you have any uh, like questions you can go up to anyone and ask questions um and yeah you're part of the team um so Benella, you're part of a very small team so usually one pharmacist and uh one tech on site most days and at wang you'll be part of that larger team but personally for me i feel like i'm part of both teams and um feel very supported during my internship year okay that's it and who is there with you um, this is my supervising pharmacist, so Angela. Hi, I'm Angela. I'm the pharmacist in charge here at Vanilla. Very good. All right, who's up next? Pick on up next. Uh, hi, everyone. My name's Rowana. Um, I'm also at Wangaratta. Um, so I just wanted to touch a bit on a quite a unique part of our um, intern program in that the interns have their own ward to look after. 
So straight after orientation, which is only two weeks long, um, you get put on either the day stay, maternity or dialysis ward, and that's yours to look after. I mean, of course, you've got your supervising pharmacist there to fall back on if you get stuck, but um, really you have to learn how to prioritise that workload, you know, manage the phone calls, you get lots of questions, lots of scripts. Um, and, I mean, day stay is also quite an unpredictable ward, so you could have anything really come through there. Um, but then, yeah, touching back into what Courtney said about being a supportive environment, um, you're never going to feel out of your depth because your pharmacist is just a phone call away. But, yeah, I think it's really great having that ward load to yourself so that you can learn those prioritised education skills like Sunita has been mentioning over in Vanilla, um, which is really important for transitioning into becoming a full-fledged pharmacist. So I guess what I wanted to really touch on is that... Um, what, we're six months into our internship this right now um, and I feel like I'm on the way to becoming a fledged pharmacist already, which I think is a great part of our intern program. Um, that's all I really wanted to touch on, so I'll hand over to Jackie to finish it off. Hi, everyone. My name's Jackie. I'm another one of the intern pharmacists based at Wangaratta. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the little rural rotation that we do. So part of the internship at Wangaratta is that we get to spend three weeks on the road, um, I guess, kind of seeing a little bit more how some of the more rural hospitals um, service um, or the pharmacy services the hospital there. So I spent a week at Benalla Hospital, um, so I kind of stepped into Sunita's shoes, um, which was a really great experience getting to know um, a little bit more about how Benalla Hospital runs and um, I guess what kind of medications they stock. And it just made me a little bit more aware that when we are transferring patients from Wangaratta to Benalla, um, whose pharmacy services are a little bit smaller and a little bit more limited, um, do we need to send any medications with them? Um, when we fax over information, um, we can send over the medication management plan that we do here and the medication charts, just to give, um, I guess, the staff at Benalla a little bit more of an idea of the patient's background and their history. Um, and it's a really great way to build rapport um, with the pharmacist there. So now when I call up, um, I get to speak to um, the tech who I met, um, which is really fantastic as well. Um, I also spent a week at Beechworth Pharmacy in their community pharmacy there. And they're a little bit different. The hospital associated um, with Beechworth doesn't have a pharmacist at all. And so the community pharmacy actually services the hospital and um, provides their in-press and organises all their inpatient medicines. Um, so it's good to be aware, once again, when you're sending a patient, um, what needs to be sent with them and also just knowing, um, yeah, I guess, and being aware of that this pharmacy, you know, it does everything for the hospital, but there's not a pharmacist on site all the time. Um, so just making sure that they're really organised with their impress and that sort of thing. Um, and then I also spent a week at Yarrawonga. Um, most of the time I spent in two community pharmacies and I also spent a day at the hospital there as well with one of the GPs, which, which was a really great learning experience, um, being able to sort of step in and make a few interventions because Yarrawonga Hospital has a pharmacist one day a week. Um, and so once again, seeing how the community pharmacy service the hospitals on the days that that pharmacist wasn't on site. Um, and then also for me, I personally don't have a lot of experience in community pharmacies. So it was a really great experience just getting in there, um, improving my OTC knowledge. Um, and then also, once again, just getting to know the pharmacists on the other end of the phone. So we're often ringing up pharmacies asking for medication histories um, and also organising discharges. So when you pick up the phone and it's talking to someone, it's nice to put a face to the name and ask them how they're going and that sort of thing, which is really great. I'll hand back to Susan. Oh, no, I'm handing to Morgan. Hi, guys. I'm Morgan. I'm the upper approved preceptor for the three Northeast Health interns this year um, and a support for Sunita as well. Um, but Susan's the... ARPA approved for Sunita. Um, we also have a mentor for each um, intern for that extra support, but I sort of oversee uh, all the other stuff and make sure everyone's coping okay on the emotional support. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting all the new interns for 2022 when it comes to interview time. Mm. I'll pass back to Susan. Yeah, definitely. So I hope that's been okay for any prospective 2022 pharmacy interns out there who are thinking about moving or coming back to northeast Victoria. Um, so you've met Angela, you've met Morgan and you've met myself. That's three out of the four interview panel right there. So um, we're looking forward to hearing from you and hearing about what you're looking for in your internship.
So get in touch. We'll see you later.